fun, but uh, but I was consciously in front of that camera trying to do different things in in about uh, 30 seconds or a minute that I had. Uh, and so I get back and we go through debriefings and, and everything. And, and I really was expecting me somebody to, somebody to start talking about how, how easy it was to move around and, and how it was similar to uh, what they had thought it might be. Well, we found out it was much, much easier than, uh, than we could have uh, even dreamed it was to, to move around with a low gravity field. Uh, maybe 10, 15 years later, um, I, I was uh, speaking in San Diego, and uh, a, a Japanese uh, professor came up and says, I've been wanting to talk to you. I, when you were on the moon, I had my stopwatch out, and I was timing everything you were doing. At, at least somebody was paying attention to how easy it was uh, to walk around uh, and move on the moon. I hate you. <laughs> yeah. uh, sir, do you think we'll get humans to Mars within your lifetime, and if so, how do you how would you relate that to what you accomplished? Well, my wife keeps saying that we're going to uh, uh, be 100 or 110 or something like that. I, I don't know about all these little problems that keep coming up. <laughs> uh, my lifetime. Well, let, let's not make it my lifetime, but let's talk about. Uh, Let's see, I'd be 120, 30. Mr. That's, that's sort of a, a target date, and that's going to be tough to do. Uh, there are going to be a lot of competing uh, priorities for the, the resources, the funds that it would take. So you said Mars, didn't you? Mars. Not the moon. Anyway. <laughs> Over here. It's a tough place to uh, support human beings. I mean, it's expensive, and, and uh, it'd be nice if the people who are going to set up habitation on the moon uh, can earn their keep by coming up with something that commercially is attractive, uh, something other than making movies. Or, that may be the only thing that uh, really is commercially attractive uh, in the short term, uh, going to Mars. Uh, but Mars, if we decide to do that, I want everybody to understand my feelings about it, and that is that it should be to establish permanent, permanent occupancy, growing. Six people really can't uh, set up uh, uh, ways that you can uh, live off the land and, uh, and make the most of what's there. You need to have 40, 50 people be nice to have more than that. Much more, you get into trouble, you know, arguments, and politics. <laughs> uh, but you need a certain number, and uh, and it's a long tour of duty. It's a PCS. <laughs> really?